Hello, I'm in Carlisle. I just got the train here and uh, tomorrow morning I'm gonna run back to Newcastle, which is 70 miles, 115 kilometers. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So here's all my kit, yeah? Um, the kit list is, is pretty massive, but uh, I've just completed registration and I have everything, so hooray. So my number is 485 and they give you these various bags. I've got a bag for the that they take to the finish line. I've got a bag for the Hexham pit stop, which is at 44 miles. And they gave me this little like single use bag for uh, a checkpoint, which is about 13 miles in. I'm not gonna use that. I think it's a bit pointless to be honest, um, considering how well supported the event is. It's just a bit of a waste of plastic, so uh, I don't need that. Um, tapes in waterproofs, leggings, they really hammer home that you need loads of thermals and stuff. It's going to be dead hot out there. But you need um, thermal layers, base layers, tights, hats, gloves. Um, but a they do give you 26 hours to do the whole event, so some people are going to be going for, well, all through the night. And it can get chilly. So my shoes are these. They are Ultra Paradigm 6s, and I've had them for ages, and they've got at least a thousand miles in them, and uh, they're still great. So I'm going to just cruise on these. They are not broken, so everyone says you should replace your shoes after 300 miles, but I think that's nonsense. Um, these these will be great. I, I've no issue, and I ran my first 100k in these, so this 100k should be great. I never never had an issue with them. Um, and that's pretty much all my kit. I've got. I'm going to run with a water bladder. And I've got two bottles spare because you need to carry, you need to be able to carry two liters of water if you need to. But I'm just going to fill up the bladder with Tailwind, which I've got here, and loads of sinister bags of white powder. Um, oh, I should also say they did give me a, a tracker. Last time they put it in a little bag, which you meant to put in a pocket, but this time they've just taped it to the top, so that's flashing. So I, I guess it's it's live and going. Um, so you can see me exactly where I'm sleeping, which is. Uh, useful for some people I guess anyway yeah right let's crack on I'm gonna go eat some fish and chips and then um, next time I see you we'll be at the start uh, tomorrow morning at Carlisle Castle just one going oh. thank you So a bag drop happens in this car park. There's some port loose up there, and then some trucks that are clearly labeled that you just chuck your bag on. I'm eating a banana and then I'm kind of ready to go. I've got a lube up, yeah. But uh, yeah, happy days, weather's nice. Not too hot yet. It did say forecast for rain this morning, but I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, let's go check out the start. This is the start line just over here. Everyone's kind of nervously warming up. Can't really warm up for something like this unless you're gonna dash off way too quick. Um, it's a really nice morning. I've got about 15 minutes until it starts. So I'm just chilling. A um, few people I recognize, which is nice. Um, last year I volunteered at the Hexham pit stop. So I've uh, kind of been on both sides of the event. Um, I really enjoyed the volunteering, I recommend you doing it, and you get like a hundred quid off your next entry, so that kind of paid mostly for me to do this. Um, but yeah, I guess we've got a briefing, we'll all be let into the pen, and then and then we go in 15 minutes. Uh, crack in, smash it. Less than a minute until the wall 2023 gets underway. 30 seconds out will change the music, then you'll be listening for the 3, 2, 1 countdown, and then the air horn and then we can get the wall 2023 underway. Rat Racers, you've got 30 seconds. Stand by. Three, two, one. Go, 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 Rat Racers! Yeah, baby! 
and let's go that's rat race the wall 2023 i'm not even gonna even work out how many kilometers to go <laughs> Thing I should say about, about doing the wall, it's not a trail run. You are going to be on paved surfaces for like 80% of the way. I will always say, there's not actually that much of the wall in it either. <laughs> there's a bit in the middle where you see lots of it, but then the rest of it is just kind of like this. And I think that's where the mental fortitude comes in, because that gets a repetitive. <laughs> It's pretty much a straight line to Newcastle. <laughs> See Newcastle. 52 miles to go, I guess. I think it might even be more than that. Uh, it's mostly, largely running through little villages like this. Startling wit from Rat Race there. Feeling a bit like a sack of potatoes at the moment. We're just cracking on. I've done 14 and a half Ks and it's still on the road. On the road, paved surfaces. Paved surfaces. Live for it. Love those paved surfaces. Uh, it's, uh, there's no one behind me. Does that mean no, I'm at the back? Which is fine. Everyone storms off on these things like no one on earth is running five minute kilometers uh, all this way apart from a few nerds at the front so I'm trundling along trying to keep my heart rate nice and low and then and then yeah fine just chilling, chilling along basically first little checkpoint thing 16 k's in I'm eating a uh, gluten-free M&S spiced iced bun they are lush and they're about a million calories so they're perfect for this sort of thing yeah, all good. Mm. Here we go. So it begins a tiny little bit of trail. It is not a paved surface. It is not a paved surface. It is grass. It is lumpy grass with rocks in it and cow poo. I sing on my runs, in case you didn't know. So we're just around the corner from our first pit stop, which is Lanacost Priory. And if all has gone to plan, my mam will be there, which is uh, always very exciting. Uh, yeah, looking lovely. Little meadow, wildflowers, nature. Right. We're now approaching pit stop one, Lanacos Priory. Have I got to see my mom? <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Thank you, mate. Cheers, bro. 55 to go. Bye bye, pits up one. Why, oh, sticky buns. And there she blows. Our very first bit of Hadrian's Wall. For all a good 20 seconds worth. Nice. You're 30k in. Let me give you a wipe. There we go. 30k's in. Walking a bit, getting a bit lumpy, but we're still on the road on paved surfaces. Uh, it's nice. We've seen a bit of wall, seen a few little turrety looking things, and now it's just a case of cracking on. Still not too hot, so. Yeah. Every 10k I'm taking one of these, salted caramel, 
energy gel. It's got a tiny bit of caffeine in it and sodium. So uh, it's like micro dosing caffeine. It actually just keep you going without the inevitable crash. It's pretty good. And uh, they taste like fucking crack. They're amazing. There is the wall. Da, 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 da. 2,000 years ago, Hadrian built it. It's very long and straight. Do, do, do. And then, all those years later, I am running it. Uh, right, that's it. That's my song. That's all I can come up with. Didn't even rhyme. Doesn't need to rhyme. But uh, yeah, it's looking nice. Let me give it a pat. Good wall. 20 miles in the game. 20 miles in the game. And there's loads of wall here. It's uh, looking lovely. Just a case of pressing on now. Cracking stuff. Oh, I remember this from last time. It was so steep, very steep. So play cool, Rob. It's gonna be one of those things that just doesn't look steep on camera, does it? The bridge at Willowford. It's a beautiful bit of wall here. Uh, lovely river. Running quite dry at the moment, obviously. Uh, thank you very kind. Cheers. Let me take a cut through some lovely wildflower meadows. There is a nice nasty set of steps coming up. So remember, when you see the beautiful meadows and the nice bridge, maybe you've got some lumpy steps to clamber up as well. Ah, pay it forward, there we go. Thank you. Cheers. The ravages of time like the ravages of 14 hours of running. Soon all of these 800 people will be stony-faced walls, unable to move, and they will stand still for 2,000 years afterwards. Suck in the gut. <laughs> Look confident. Well done, fella. Cheers. I wasn't lying about the steps. you'd ever think I would lie. Welcome to Northumberland, England's border country. It's one of the spelling mistake ones. It says country <laughs> instead of county. The guy at that crossing said I was in the top 80 or so runners, which uh, Plus being around the top 10%, which I'm pretty happy with, so I'm making pretty good progress. With 36 k's, it's about two miles to the next stop, so that's about 40 k. So I'll cruise on through, fill up my bladder, empty my bladder, and then, and then yeah, we just one foot before the other. But yeah, I'm happy with the pace. Oh, you see that Volga? Wildlife, man. The wild creatures of the north. The voles, the badgers. I've only ever seen a dead badger. I'd love to see an alive one one day. I came here for the snacks. There's some very lumpy Adrian's wall in the distance. And I've just got a little jog to a place called Walltown. That's Pit Knot Stop. Pit Knot. Slip Knot. Pit Knot. Pit Stop number two. Right, pit stop two done. We are 38.77 kilometers in. About four and a half hours of running. And uh, yeah, we've just got to press on right now to the lumpiest bit of the course. Uh, following the wall over 
to the sill. Right, I guess we should just press on, eh? Oh, he's running, he's running. Pack's heavy again now, top me water up. Long old hike up there next. And to those of you who've never run an ultra before, running is like none of it. It's mostly slogging up hills like this. Ain't no one's running up this. Crawfield Quarry. Little checkpoint here, so I've just got some water. They made a total blunder at the last pit stop. And the stuff labeled water with that was actually isotonic drink. So I filled up my tailwind bladder with a load of sugary water. Uh, so it's sweet as honey. So I'm just gonna have to muddle through till the next pit stop and completely empty it out and refresh it. But yeah, it's all right, I'll survive. I've got some fresh water here. So at least my mouth isn't as claggy as it was before. All right, onwards to the lumpy bit now. Very pretty though. This is trail, this is kind of varied enough. I wish I had some proper water. It's not much fun drinking this sweet stuff. My mouth is all dry and wet at the same time. This sucks. It's really quite hard to convey just how long and arduous this section is. I've not seen anyone run in a little while. But uh, everything is great apart from just how tired I am. Thank the flying spaghetti monster. That is a trigger point. And that is the seal pit stop. Oh, that's a long old slog. Uh, but at least as soon as we hit that trick point, net downhill, and then sailing in to the Sill, then Hexham, Dewburn, and then Newcastle sometime this evening. I'm very happy with that. <laughs> I know I complain, but give me some of that road, man. Give me some of those paved services. Down we go. <sighs> Climbing on that thing was a bit too acrobatic for me. <laughs> Keep it to street level, Rob. Down we go. Tarmac, downhill. Oh, I was cussing this out before, but now I'm so thankful. And uh, those buildings down at the bottom is the seal pit stop. So that was actually pretty quick. Certainly quicker than, uh, than last time. Uh, so I've just got to keep pressing on now. I'm going to get some water, have a chill. I think I'm just going to take my time uh, and go when I'm ready. My mouth is so dry. Oh, right, we're having fun. We're going down. Let's kick it. Well done. Hey, thank you. Thank you. I will. Perfect, thank you very much. Well There's my mom behind that camera. Hey. And that's the seal pit stop. only way is up past the, the great cascade of no spectator parking signs one of the many landmarks you come across on this event i'm feeling good i've got some fresh water oh don't you know don't take the little things for granted it was a horrible section having to drink that isotonic crap Once again, onto another never-ending, eternally straight road. 
And what did the Romans ever do for us? The roads, the aqueduct, sanitation, the wine, medicine, all the other stuff, ultra marathons. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. Your friends talk to my friends, talk to your friends, talk to me. Cause we never, ever, ever. Why is that in my head right now? Crazy. If we look down there in the distance, you'll see the beautiful the second wall again. Famously trod upon by Morgan Freeman and Who's the other guy? Was it Kevin Costner? That Robin Hood one. Where they walk from Dover to Nottingham via Hadrian's Wall. Uh, yeah, I think so. Anyway, that's up there. And it's good, in hindsight, that we're not doing that section because, as you can see, there's a lot of up and down. But yes, I mean, it's pretty far away there. <laughs> this is the long and straight road. Much better. But all right, all good. I'm feeling pretty fresh now, so, so I'm pretty happy. Right, this is Vindolanda Roman Fort. Normally, it's a 15 pound entry free, but through the power of my slightly telescopic uh, camera tripod thing, uh, I'll let you see above the fence. Uh, see, it's 8 to 15 quid. Uh, look at all the Roman stuff. See? GoPro just paid for itself. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. I'm hurting. This guy in front keeps dropping. Bloody. I think they're round trees randoms. They're leaking out of his bag. And it's like a, a little daisy chain of, of, of sweets to be getting. There's another one. Should I be eating them? Is he leaving them for me? I mean, they've only been on the floor for like 30 seconds. That's the rule, right? Another one. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, he's going to be so disappointed when he goes into his bag and another one to get himself some nice round trees randoms and it's empty. It's a long run back uphill to uh, to pick up your lost sweets, mate. I should be collecting them for him, maybe. Oh, he's miles ahead. I'll never catch him. <laughs> I'm just taking my time. Uh, but yeah, nice. Back on the roads following cycle route 72 which goes all the way into Newcastle pretty much so uh, that is the way oh, my muscles are getting a bit tight now maybe I'll stretch over here on this bit of wall not the wall just a wall a bit of wall I can even put the tripod up how about that that's the kind of quality content you need to see me stretching my calves out oh. My muscles have been tight all week. Uh, and this is the kind of point in the race where you really begin to feel that. <laughs> all right. You okay? Yeah, just tight calves. I'm ready. He's going way faster than me. Maybe because he ate all the sweets that have been left for him. And I would walk 35 miles and I would walk 35 more. I'm going to walk 35 more because I'm knackered and I don't want to run. So I'm doing this. That's what the Proclaimers would have wanted. May they rest in peace. I've gone against the wishes of the Proclaimers and I'm running a little bit. I see how I've been running for a little while. I've just clocked 60 kilometers. 60 K is in the bag. And we're just kind of going downhill towards Hexham, which is about 10 K away. So in normal running terms, that's an hour or less. In ultra marathon running the wall terms, that could be an hour and a half, <laughs> probably. Um, so 
got to keep plodding on. Hope we get some water soon. Uh, that's tailwind's not doing it for me today. I think I just need fresh water and, and, uh, and gels, maybe. Is, is, is what I'm doing. Maybe it's the heat, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm still moving forward, as, as this we can do. But uh, yes, the rolling English countryside awaits. Hey, we're going to see my reflection in the thing. Hello, me said the cheese to the mirror. Oh. We're on to the emergency crisps. Got a bit of a stitch, need some salt. Not many people. I think I'm dropping back. Stopped in this really old school looking <laughs> petrol station uh, for a nice cold Coke. So I'm just gonna walk in, sip, sip this lovely stuff. Uh, let's get on it. Not far till Hexham now, but I'm in no rush. Now this is the kind of place I could run through all day long. It's just tracking shady woods trail. You don't notice the miles when you're on this, but when you're on that damn road, kills you. So here we go. We've done 71 kilometers, 44 miles. It's the Hexham checkpoint. Hello, thank you. Lots of people clapping at this one. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, I drank a whole bottle of Coke and now I'm like, yeah, let's go. Oh, and the crowd went wild. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we I will. Hello. Thank you. Yes, I do. Four eight five is me. I will. I'll have a browse. All right. Not a drop up over there, Stella. Okay. Cool. Sugars are there. Far side. Not. <laughs> There's plenty going. Thank you so much. This looks awesome. Bye bye. Have some pit stop. There's the River Tyne. Now I've just got to crack on and run a marathon. When I did this a couple of years ago, it clocked in at about 38k, so I'm hoping for something similar. Because uh, that would be reasonably quick. But I could just walk it if I want to. We'll see. Alright, let's go. There's the time. Just got to follow that all the way to the tune. We started the run with a crossing of the A69 and now, as we approach the last 25 miles, we're crossing over again. Look at all the lovely people in their cars, not running. Just carrying on. I'm at the stage where it feels like I'm running really, really quickly, but actually I'm just under eight minute kilometers, which is pretty much walking, but feels a lot quicker. Uh, so I'm gonna trust my brain and, and, and say I am going fast. Uh, <laughs> right, onwards. We've got the tiniest bit of rain. It's amazing. I feel like the Shawshank Redemption guy washing all the shit off his body as he went through the pipe and came out into the rain. Oh, beautiful. Just what I need. In the village of Corbridge now. I suddenly feel very urban. That's a, that's a pretty built up area. So I'm 80 kilometers in, uh, I'm just drawing a bit of water and some Haribo at that little checkpoint thing. Checkpoints are like not full pit stops, they just have some water and some sweets and then that's it. Like there's nothing, nothing else going on. Um, but yeah, so I've got allegedly six miles to Newburn, which is the final pit stop. And then it's just uh, on to Newcastle. But uh, if I don't feel the need to stop and if I don't need to top up my water, I'm just going to try and push on through rather than hanging around, just killing time otherwise. All right, see you there. Oh, I'm just in this lovely little community and uh, they had a whole picnic spread set up and doing some iron brew. Oh yeah. And uh, the lady said, guess what position you're in? I was like, oh, I don't know. I said, I've been riding the struggle bus for a couple of hours. I said, 
150, 200, which gives them lower. Thank you. <laughs> They're all so nice here. And uh, I'm in flipping 74th place out of 800 plus people. I can't quite believe it. So if that's the motivation I need, then there we go. Right, I'm just gonna crack on now and get my head down. So the next time you'll see me, we'll hopefully be crossing the Millennium Bridge. See you then. There's the bridges. Very nearly there now. Just passing everyone on there. Saturday night up. Whee! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, where are the spoons? Class. <laughs> Cheers, folks. Thank you. How do, does everyone knows my name? What's up with that? <laughs> right, that's 110 kilometers, 15 hours, 32 minutes. Carlisle to Newcastle, race the wall. Well We're done. done. Thank you. Nice one. Cheers. Good clapping. Here we go. And then, in a cruel twist of fate, the battery on my GoPro died. So I did cross the finish line. I came in 72nd place in 15 hours, 35 minutes or so. And uh, I can't believe I didn't record myself crossing the line. Uh, so there we go. That's it. That's the wall. And uh, I can't walk today. Whee!